Hi, I'm here to talk today about uh, whereabouts. So whereabouts is our latest tracking system um, that uh, relies on uh, Wi-Fi and GPS and cellular positioning and that works both indoors and outdoors. So here I have a watch, uh, it's an Android watch that, that is uh, running whereabouts. Um, but, um, you know, it's not the only uh, platform where this, um, this tracking system can be used can also be used in an, a tag, uh, an asset tag like this one, or um, an Android smartphone. Um, so what the, the, the most uh, interesting thing about this solution is that it's a tracking system that uses very little battery. I mean, it's like the footprint on the battery is almost invisible. It's like 1% of the battery life of the, of the watch or the smartphone of the, or the tag. And, um, and the way it works is by using ambient signals. So I, it, it can work really in any building or any place in the world. And it combines indoor location and global positioning. So here I have my uh, location on the screen, um, and this is the uh, the user interface of, uh, of whereabouts. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to walk inside the building, and we're going to see the uh, location change on the screen. So actually, this is what you see on the. Uh, on the side of the screen here and you know I'm going to walk around and my location will be updated uh, accordingly. So let's go in the in the corridor. Here. So as you can see my location is uh, uh, being updated accordingly on the floor plan and uh, I can walk on the other side of the, the corridor and the, the, uh, uh, the location will also be uh, updated. Now, understand that this, we're, we're getting like a two to three meter accuracy with this system. So it's, a, you know, we're getting a uh, very accurate uh, indoor location. One of the thing also is that the refresh rate is configurable so that uh, you know you can decide how much battery you want to use versus the uh, uh, you know the, the, the frequency of the update. So now you can see my location has been updated, and uh, we're going to continue this uh, this demo. I'm going to show the other side of uh, of Nizon whereabouts. One of the most uh, remarkable features of whereabouts is that it combines indoor location, like we were able to see earlier, with global positioning, and all that without using uh, a lot of battery. Like I said earlier, uh, almost an invisible footprint on the battery. So I'm going to drive around. Um, and we're going to see here my location getting updated while we walk and actually it's going to show on the dashboard that the location is being switched from indoor location to global location, to GPS location. So let's go. Ready for the ride? Let's go!
we are back. I hope you enjoyed the ride. So, and that you enjoyed the demo of whereabouts. I would like to make a, a follow-up on the previous video where I was demonstrating whereabouts, which is um, like a tracking system that can be installed on a smartwatch, on an asset tag like this one, or on a smartphone. And um, previously, you know, I walked around and was able to, to show my location in real time. So what I want to demonstrate now is how we can uh, study the location after the fact and look at all the breadcrumbs, all the places I've been throughout the day. So I have <clears throat> all of that plotted here on, uh, on Google Earth. <clears throat> so um, if I zoom in, I'm going to see... So like I was, I was saying during the, uh, the demonstration video, uh, we can do indoor tracking and <clears throat> um, like GPS, outdoor tracking, uh, working anywhere in the world. So here on the map, you have the indoor tracking uh, that is in yellow and the um, outdoor tracking that is in green. So while I was walking inside a building, I have, um, you know, every single place. I don't have a floor plan on this on this uh, visualization, but I could have one. And then all the breadcrumbs of the places I've been uh, when I was driving around in my car. So, um, you know, all of that in a way that was uh, completely seamless and, you know, on uh, running on the watch without having in any interference on the battery life, which is usually a big problem when you have like GPS tracking uh, solution. It has a, uh, a big impact on the battery. Whereabouts doesn't. Um, so, I thought this could uh, this could be interesting to see how uh, you know you, you can do after the fact analysis of the locations. Hope you enjoyed the video.